break muna. We did two two minutes two minutes today. Two kilometers and 25. Uh, two two and one fourth of a 2.25 kilometers. So just one lap around UP. Today's a, it's a very hot day. So that's why I'm wearing some long sleeves and I'm really sweating. Although my pace is pretty chill. Five, five minutes and 54 seconds. It's good, my goal today is just 5k. Chill, easy run. It's been really challenging because I'm bringing the camera along with me. So, it's not too heavy, but of course, uh, while you're holding it, it's hard to like balance in a sense. But yeah, uh, I love it here in UP. Today, I woke up late, so I couldn't run early. So now it's 10.25 and it's, it's pretty hot, but at least there's trees here so that when you run, you can really feel the oxygen and you need that to breathe. So, yeah. Um, we'll see how this goes. I needed a water break. I also set up my mic so that later, when I'm running, I can vlog. So, I'm excited for that. Yeah. <sighs> Today's setup is a bit different. First time trying this vlog type. I think one of the challenges in vlogging is really that the social anxiety. See, you know, even though I'm an actor or I'm on TV and, or I'm on front of the camera a lot, doing it in public and seeing the people react, see, you know, since it's not super common, is one thing that will, that will make it hard to vlog. But for me, because I <laughs> for me, like, at this point, stay all you want as long as I get to do what I want to do. I have a passion for filmmaking, so different attack on my vlogs this time. I hope you guys like it. So we'll see how this goes, okay? Let's go. Okay, so it's my first time vlogging and running. Got it. Extra exercise though. Oh my god. Gotta be doing this type of vlogs. Makes me miss the camera, man. Shout out to my camera, man. Regaling video. Okay, so. Uh, what I wanted to say was that I started running back in February when I was walking for my filming of. Shining Inheritance, and that was actually in Clark. At our hotel, there was a, a track, so I think it was around three kilometers, and I fell in love with running unexpectedly. I mean, I know it's a trend and everybody's been doing it, but I actually fell in love with it without, just for trying it myself, without any like proper shoes, nothing. I just wanted to run because long distance running has been like a weakness of mine. But sprints has always been good for me because I used to play basketball and my training was always sprints, but long distance, I was really bad. And for me, that's one of my goals to maintain a good heart health. And yes, well, for the future, honestly, starting it young, you know, is nice because just like working out, just like playing sports, it clears your thoughts and minds. Although it's so tiring, it's very challenging. I don't know, you find peace in it. And Siguro, what I told myself is I'll be consistent this year. Yet after my lock-in, I haven't ran every day or every week. But now that I'm a changed man, no. Now that I have more time, I guess, and that I want to develop good habits, now is the perfect time. So I think I'm just talking extra so that I delay my running. <laughs> Let's do this, guys. It's an excellent way to discover and explore a city. It allows you to experience the streets, parks, and hidden gems from a unique perspective. It's often missed when driving or using public transport. 
You can take in the sights, sounds, and even smells of the neighborhoods as you pass through. And today is the first thing I should have done earlier today, because it's like time is it now? It's like 10:45, and it should have been done at 8 a.m. But I slept late, woke up late, so yeah. It's so nice here. I mean, what else can you ask for? You got the trees, you got a running path, and you got the people. I think that's very important too when you're running, when you're starting out. It's good to have people around you also. As they say, to be better, you put yourself in a position where you're with other people, right? So you put yourself with faster runners. That's what I like to do. So that when I look at my paces the following day or the next time I run, it improves. Which is important because that's what we're here for, improvement. Growing up in Canada, I was always, like, always exposed to running and trails. It's very common there, especially in PE I mean, in our physical education. We had to run like every week and I'd always struggle. Yeah, so here's to a day of myself trying to be better. Wow. You see, perfectionism is common because it justifies an action as a noble goal of producing a masterpiece. But the only way to get close to a masterpiece is to move forward imperfectly. It simply means we just gotta keep going.